I think the biggest surprise for everybody is after in recovery uh, because you don't bounce back. Yes. So, yes. You no. Know, so you've got your body to contend with and all the changes. And if you've had mastectomies and what's that all about and how am I going to manage that? And, yep. and just the effects of the chemo because the chemo causes a natural depression and anxiety. So then it's kind of like you don't bounce back. You know, it's, it's, it, it's like, you know, I, I said to everybody when I was recovering, it's like somebody turned the switch off and I can't find it to turn it back on. It's like, yes, where is that feeling of alive and yes, being vital, you know? Um, so I think that's kind of the biggest surprise for everybody and learning how to work through yeah. that yeah. Um, is, is really kind of, you know, how do you use your mind? How do you use sense of yes. humor? How do you kind of understand what's happening to your body so that you can yeah. kind of have this self-talk and, you know, how does exercise and movement and, you know, what are the things that you need to do to, what I, like I say, is reclaim your body. When you're re-entering yes. the world, how do you reclaim your body? A hundred percent. Yeah. It took me two and a half years to feel a little bit like myself, um, physically, emotionally, psychologically. And also, Fran, um, I don't know if this happened to you and, and Jazz, yeah. did you guys have like some kind of PTSD? Like, I, oh. yeah, like I remember getting dizzy to the point where my oncologist was OCD and I'm hypochondriac. She, she had me do MRI of the brain. Apparently my <laughs> brain is fine, but I was like, I'm getting dizzy. I might have gone to the brain. So at least, at least your brain's fine. At least yeah, my brain is, is fine. Yes. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it's that PTSD that they don't tell you about. Doctors don't tell you about how to eat after treatment, how mm -hmm. you're going to feel, how to deal with your emotions, how to deal with your PTSD. Right. They have no idea. They don't tell you. Yeah. yeah. No, nope. nobody gives you any information. And it is. And the PTSD is across the board. I mean, it could happen when you're walking your doctor's office. This yes. soap in the bathroom can make you throw up. I mean, there's yeah. all these things yeah. that are connected, you know. And the other thing, too, that uh, some woman was just talking to me about, which was really interesting, is that, you know, you have to you have to do this treatment, whether it's, you know, whether it's even if it's for some people surgery without chemo or radiation, it's just as traumatizing. Right. Yes. And you have to have all these people doing all these things to your body. Yes. touching you, doing all these things that you don't volunteer for. And so yes. that, so then when you, that's over, sometimes that initial reaction when somebody wants to touch you or be near you, it's almost like you pull back yes. because yes. you've been, you know, it feels like you've been violated in so many ways. Yes, absolutely. 